In this example, we want to find the derivative of y equals to x cubed plus 1, all raised to the second power. Okay, so uh, with this example, I want to show you how the uh, chain rule works. Okay, and then at the end, uh, hopefully you'll notice that we can, uh, there's a shortcut that we could, that we can apply here. Okay, so to start off, uh, we're going to let, okay, I'm going to let this be u. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let u be equal to x cubed plus 1. Okay. All right, so that we have, so now we have y equals to u squared. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, okay, the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so we're going to have du dx equals to 3x squared, and taking the derivative of y with respect to u, we get 2u, okay? All right, so the chain rule implies that if we have, let's say we have our independent variable, so if we take uh, the derivative of y, so assuming that y is in terms of x, so we have dy dx is equal to dy times du, and then multiply that by du dx, okay? So applying this rule to what we have here, um, we'll get, we'll, we'll be able to find our derivative, okay? So we have dy dx equals to dy du, that was 2u, times the derivative of u with respect to x, that was 3x squared, okay? All right, so we have dy dx equals to, uh, we have 2 times 3 is 6, and then we have u, so u was x cubed plus 1, okay? And then times x squared, okay? And then we can write it this way, 6 times x squared times x cubed plus 1. Okay, so that is the derivative that we have, okay? So what you should notice, okay, really what we're doing is, okay, uh, going back to our, uh, going back to the problem, okay, we have y equals to x cubed plus 1 to the power 2. So what we're doing is we're, taking care of the outside power first, okay? So we, right, so what we can do is we can apply, uh, we can apply what's called the general power rule here, okay? So y prime or dy dx is going to be, we can move down to two, okay? And that's gonna leave us with one here, and then we take the derivative of the inside part. So that was the portion where we were taking the derivative of of u with respect to x. So we have the derivative of x cubed plus 1. Okay, so that's going to give us 2 times x cubed plus 1 times, okay, the derivative of x cubed plus 1, which is 3x squared. Okay, and so this is y prime is going to be 6 times x squared times x cubed plus 1, okay? All right, so that's the result that we got, okay? All right. So basically this rule that we apply here, this is what's called the general power rule, okay, for the bottom part, okay? So you take care of the outside power first, and then you work your way towards inside, towards the way inside, okay? So but we did that by pulling down the 2, Subtract one, and then taking the taking the derivative of the inside part. Okay, and that works all because of this, right? All because of this statement here. Okay. All right. So that is the chain rule for derivatives. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go through. There's a couple more examples uh, that will be uh, that you can look at.